I'll just use my Eagle Scout voice. There you go. Uh, there you go. Did get an Eagle, did get my Eagle Scout. Uh, a bunch of my mates, after they got their Eagle Scouts, they went up into various branches of the military. I unfortunately could not follow them. I have ADHD and asthma and allergies and a whole bunch of things that I really wanted to. My grandfather was uh, was in the army back in Vietnam, uh, south, in case anyone's giving track. Uh, and, no, this was way before then, actually. And so uh, he raised me slightly strictly, but he's also one who fostered a love for magic in my life. So it was uh, him, he would buy me little magic tricks and things like, uh, oh, here's, you start out with just cool magic props, and then you learn a little bit of skill. This is a nifty little magic prop right here. Oh. oh! And then you learn a little bit of skill to mix in with that. Take a little cards here, found them with one hand, found them with the other hand, string them from hand to hand, down the back, back up. Oh man, that's the hard one, it's getting it back. I just did this, you guys, relax. Not everything's a trick. <laughs> he bought me a bunch of books. One of the very first books I ever got was a uh, magic classic book called the Tor Torbell Course in Magic. And uh, it taught this little trick right here, which is you take a little playing card, uh, you give it a little wave through the air, and you just, you can disappear. Reach up, bring it back again, just like that. It took a little bit of practice. That's all right. Here, watch. I'll show you the really hard way. You have to make one disappear, two disappear, three disappear. Show both the front and the back of your hand. Reach up, bring back. There's a one. There's a two. There's a three. And if you're really good, you can bring back four, five, six, oh. seven. Whoa. There's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Describing it all. Nathan, put away the cards. Okay. Oh, there's more of them. Sorry about that. Nathan, put away the cards. Okay, fine. Oh, there's more of them over there. Nathan, put away the cards. There's more of them over here. Is that all of them? No, I've got some more. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Popular amongst the students, not so much amongst the teachers. That was a little, a little annoying. Um, so yes, I did grow up in Scotland uh, when I was one. My family moved back to Scotland. Uh, and I grew, lived there until about 2000 when I came back. And I came back just in time pretty much for middle school, uh, and where kids are particularly vicious and rude about their comments sometimes. So uh, I worked really quickly to get rid of the accent. Anytime you stand out in middle school, they make fun of you for it. So uh, I became bilingual, I guess you could say. So I spoke Scottish and I spoke American. So that was and, But then I got older, people were like, the Scottish thing is cool, keep it. And, oh, oh, oh! In Scotland we have weird pets. We don't have regular pets like we have over here. Uh, Scottish magicians don't use rabbits, we use little... Hold on, we use raccoons. I've got a little raccoon. His name's Ripley, believe it or not. Come here, brother. It's okay. They're nice, I promise you. There you go. If you guys look, it's Ripley. 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 The raccoon. And he's like, oh my god! <laughs> sit, stay. Bad, no, sit. Sit, sit. I'll hypnotize him. <laughs> to hypnotize, that like a light. See? He does impressions. This is his... Does Davy Crockett. Dave <laughs> Lincoln, Wilford Brimley, Kim Kardashian, <laughs> Olympic diver, Greg Luganis, oh, it's head. <laughs> Dutch impressionist painter, Vincent Van Gogh, he's missing an ear! This is his impression of every hippie woman you'll ever meet in your life. What's up, dude? <laughs> this is his impression. Look, this is Tonto the Indian. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> There's lots of this, obviously. It's a stuffed animal with a spring inside. This is one of my favorite things to start off shows with, because this is a great example of how you can know how a trick works and still a lot of fun. You guys know, it's a stuffed animal with a spring inside. You uh, wiggle your finger, it looks like he's waggling his tail. Oh, he's cute. He's your dummy. It looks like, it looks like he. Use your index finger, it looks like he's heating out of your hand. That's especially a lot of fun in really fancy establishments like this one. Not a restaurant, not an eatery, mind you, but an establishment. There is a difference. The manager will tell you before he kicks you out. Found that one out the hard way. Watch what you do. So you take him, you can just squish him up because he's all spring. You hide him behind your back and then you wait till they serve the salad. Then you bring him out in your pocket like this. And then you start feeding things off the plate. And look around. It's suspicious. suspicious, 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 suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> they don't see you yet. Eventually, someone will come over to you and say, I'm sorry, sir, but you're not allowed to have live animals at this establishment. <laughs> no live animals. No live animals. And that's when you get to mess with them. It's okay, I understand. There you go. <laughs> When they get this medium rare notes again, we can rebuild the better faster, the stronger, we have the technology. Live! <laughs> give me those notes! Clear! Clear! Not a, don't you give up on me, you son of a... That's the wrong end. That's the wrong end. You know, in Tennessee, legally, that means we're married. Watch, what you do is you blow into the tail and you reinflate. 
And that's Ripley, everyone. How about a round of applause for him tonight? The wait stop is anywhere. Can I get some water up here? I'm getting a little bit thirsty. I just need it for another drink. Uh, like I said, I have a, a bunch of mates who went off into the military afterwards, and uh, I, I had lunch with one of them a little while ago, and uh, and he was surprisingly well adjusted, and uh, he did mention that he had uh, hit with some shrapnel while he was over there, and I was I just I had to know what is that? It's kind of a dumb question, but what does that feel like? And he's like, well, imagine taking a nail and pounding it into your face. That's kind of what you just get. This, it's there's something in your face. I'm like, believe it or not. I think I know how you feel. Uh, and so I learned this because I thought it was something so intriguing uh, that I just had to. Uh, do me a favor, sir. What's in there? Can you reach in there and grab one of those nails, real? Please make sure it's a real nail. Make sure it's not rubber or anything fake. Real nail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've done enough, thank you. That's enough. It's my turn now. No. Oh. Here we go. Ow. One, <laughs> two, three days ago I was doing that. <laughs> and it occurred to me there are some very impressionable people out there. So for those people, do not try this at home! Go to your neighbor's house and do it. Then their home is the church of Here we go. So you guys can see this up close. I'm going to see. That's really nice. I'm going to give it a little tap so you can hear that. That's a real nail in my face. I do this with the comfort of knowing that it cannot be anywhere nearly as bad as my friend had it when he was overseas. Serving our country. And I know that you guys went through similar experiences. I want to thank you guys for that. This is my tribute to you guys. Because <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> I do this for my country. <laughs> you can grab the end, make sure that's a real nail. Feel that that's a real nail. Yeah. Just hold on to it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's a real nail, and that's a nails in the face. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Really hurt in about 45 minutes. <laughs> hurt really badly. <laughs> what a souvenir! <laughs> oh, that's a that's not a trick, by the way. That's that's the real deal. There are many tricks that you learn in magic. There's a classic trick. It's an ancient trick called the Chinese linking rings. It's one of my favorites growing up. It's a very beautiful, elegant trick. Not the way I do it, but it's normally a very beautiful, elegant trick. Uh, Chinese linking rings isn't. Authentic oriental magic trick, you can tell because on the back of the box it says made in China. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it for you guys right now. Which is, you start with four rings. Uh, do me a favor, can you just feel all the way around that? Make sure it's completely solid and secure. Pull on there's no breaks or gaps or anything like that. No openings, right? There's no trap doors. Poison gas, there's no evil Chris Angel hiding there waiting to do my little bidding. I'm hiding inside the ring waiting to do a trick for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a hole in there, sir? What do you call the big thing in the middle? The big thing in the... A hole! <laughs> Careful about that joke, it's an antique. Do me a favor, feel the other ring. Pull all the way around it, make sure there's nothing funny about it. Yeah? Completely solid? Alright, I'm just gonna take that hole. Hold on to that for me, please. I'm just gonna take that from you. Thank you very much. Whoa. Oh, boy. Two solid objects passing through each other. You learn about physics, and they say in physics solids cannot penetrate through solids. Then you learn about quantum physics, and in quantum physics sometimes Weird stuff happens. Watch, you just give a little bit of a rub. One will jump from one to the other. With a bit of a blow. Get these two to link together as well. With a simple tap. Watch carefully. 
pass right through each other, no trap doors. Here, I'll do it one more time, this time without tapping. Some people think when I tap, it moves too quickly, so I'm just going to take and I'm just going to push. Three solid rings connected to one. Four, one solid ring connected to three. That's the advanced course, though. <laughs> we'll get to that one next week. You can get them to do pretty little formations, too. Huh. There we go. One by one by one. Single final line. We can get the bottom kind of looks like an Audi. Look at that. <laughs> I don't have an Audi, I have an Innie. I checked this morning. We're going to get the bottom. <laughs> bottom ring travels all the way up to the top. Like this. One, two. Someone over this is stupid. <laughs> well, you're going to use it. Here we go. Bottom ring travels all the way up to the top. Ready? Hey! Just like this. Just like this. Off to the bottom and all the way up to the very end. Top, just like that. Of course, we can also do dangerous positions with the rings. This is called the swinging rings of death. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! What if I add, add authentic oriental sound effects? Corporate <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Lee. Sir, do me a favor. Can you grab that bottom ring, hold it away from your face, and just give a light little pull? Thank you very much. There you go, you get those rings to separate. You can get them to join each other, just like that. Get them to line up and, of course, separate into pairs. Couple's knife. There you go. I'm going to do this very slowly. Watch, because I'll do this as slowly as I can. I'm going to pull it right through the side there. So everyone can see. One, two, three. Right. Through the ring. We can do it like you. Would you like to hold on to that, sir? I want you to do me a favor. I want you to hold on to it nice and hard. Bring it down on the count of three. One ring on top of the other. There you go. One, two, three, go. Thank you very much. What's your name? Gagani Brown. That's right. Gagani Brown. Everyone round applause for Gagani Brown. <laughs> you do want to watch. You do want to make sure you don't blink or look away because if you do, it might look they were, like they were never even linked to begin with and that wouldn't be any good. You always got to pay really close attention. So you can see the exact moment. Hey, Link. These ones over here are feeling the whoop. Okay, that's all right. We'll just get all four of these together. Then. There we go. All four. Here, I'll show you guys from my angle. Some people think that's better for my angle, um, and it's, it's really not. It's about the same. That's from your angle. So we can get two of them out like this. And for the very last one, this one's brand new. Let's see if I can do this one. I'm gonna need to use a sani rinse when I get home. Just rinse up my needle cap. Oh, all right. As I said, I'm an Eagle Scout. I have a little just in case over here. This is my emergency use only box. It's got a folded play card. That's in case I fall except a magic trick because it's gonna happen one of these days. I'm not that good at it. I need, um, I need a volunteer from the audience. That's what I need. Who wants to help me out? Volunteer from the audience? This gentleman over here. What's your name, sir? Staff Sergeant Ross. Hmm? Staff Sergeant Ross. Staff Sergeant Ross. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Staff Sergeant Ross. <laughs> this is your magic debut, Staff Sergeant Ross? Yes. Your magical debut. All right. Back in a plane, cards. I'm going to have you help me out by selecting a card in a moment. This is a trick that never ever fails. That's why I like doing it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to ripple through the packet. You say stop anytime you'd like. Ready, set, stop. While I'm rippling through the packet, I apologize. Okay, ready, set, stop. Somewhere stop. between here and here, you got, okay, ready, set. Right there. You're positive. Right there. Would you like to go any more? No, this one. This one right here. Okay. Well, I've seen this one, so take the next card for me, please. Take that card. Show everyone the card. And if you could do me a huge favor, if you could write your name on the card. Now, if it is a number card like this, write it in the middle where there's plenty of room. If it is a royalty card, please write it in the white corner so everyone can see it from a distance. Sign the card, yes? Yes. The reason I have you sign the card is because sometimes people lie. Believe it or not, they lie. I get the right card, I'm like, nope, that wasn't it. So you sign the card that way, we can look through the deck later on and say, nope, this is the card you signed, it was the right one. You lie, son of a gun. Put it there. There you go. Unless you wanted it to put it somewhere else inside the packet. So right there, it should work just fine. Into the packet it goes, and now I'm going to attempt the impossible. I want you to take the card, shuffle them up for me, please. 
Every day I'm shuffling and shuffling. Wow. Not bad. Wow. Okay. Let's go to Vegas. It's on you. No, you win. I feel it. All right. Take the cards. Place them inside the box for me, please. I'm going to close up the box. Um, just, uh, is one of your back trouser pockets fake? Okay. I want you to go ahead and place the box inside your back trouser pocket. I'm going to attempt to reach very quickly into the back trouser pocket, <laughs> open the package, pull out the card, and close the, close the box back up again. And grab your card in the process. Okay? Trust me, this is far more awkward for me than it is for you. <laughs> huh? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Do you want to face forward or backward? <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want, okay, here we go. He's got a knife too, I can see it, so I better be very, very careful. I'm going to walk away with a lot less fingers. The magic disappearing finger trick. Okay, right? Into the back pocket. Oh god, those are stunt trousers. One card from the box. Yes, one card. From the box. Open up the box, make sure that it, or check the box, make sure it's sealed still. It's still closed, yeah? I closed it back up. I managed to grab one from there. Your card, the Six of Spades. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. The signature is a new card. I didn't think about that. Uh, how about we do the trick that never fails? That's not the trick. This is the trick that never fails. Never fails. I have a picture of a president in here. Do you know what president is in here? No? Exactly. <laughs> I really don't have a picture of a president back here. I want you to name any president that you'd like. And I guarantee you, that will be this picture. Jimmy Carter? No one, no one ever Jimmy Carter. <laughs>
napkin, he folded it up, put it underneath the cup, and then he did the thing where it jumped from cup to cup. Uh, and that got me hooked. He took me to magic shows and things like that. And um, I started practicing more and more. And um, if there's one thing I've learned doing magic tricks, is that there is such a thing in real life as real magic. There is real magic, but it's not these tricks. These things that I practice to be able to do to perform, not to fool or confuse, but to entertain, to mystify, to bring joy, hope, wonder, escape from whatever troubles it is that you're experiencing in your life. Magic has the power to take you away, to give you these moments, these memories, that you get to cherish and share with the ones you love and keep close to your heart. And that is the real magic in life. Because as long as you cherish all those little memories, blowing bubbles of chocolate milk, uh, running through sprinklers on hot days, um, a day off where you get to sit back and just watch TV on the sofa in your underwear. Some very magical days. <laughs> That's the real magic in life. And uh, one of the most magical memories that I have is of a road trip with my family. We were driving to San Jose from this, around this area, Anaheim area. That's about an eight hour drive. Now there's six of us crammed into a minivan. My sister at this point in her life was less than two years old. So she was sitting in the back. Or sitting in the side just crying. <laughs> my brothers are in the back seat. You're on my side, you're on my side, you're on my side, you're on my side. Kicking the back of my chair the whole time. And my parents were in the front just trying not to lose their freaking minds. <laughs> and so before my father went absolutely mental, he pulled over into a rest stop. A little ways north of here, a few hours north. And uh, we couldn't get away from each other fast enough. But then, magic happened. The air cooled down. The weather got just right. And it started to snow. Now, we all know where snow comes from. It's just water that freezes as it falls from the sky. But that day, the snow was magical. Because it magically turned a bunch of angry, bickering tourists back into a family again. And that's a magic trick that I will cherish for the rest of my life. That's a memory that I will cherish. And I hope that today I was able to create some magical memories for you that you guys get to cherish. And just in case nothing I've done so far has been magical enough, I hope that this one is.